Okay, thank you, Barry. How do you see the near future of OLED display? Well, the OLED think? Uh, display industry is probably going to grow by about uh, 100% this year. In 2010, we had uh, over 30 million uh, small medium displays, and we expect that to grow to over 60 million, and from 1 billion in revenue to over almost 2 billion in revenue, and uh, 1.9 billion in revenue in 2011. What's happened is a major shift. What we had in up until this year is Samsung was the only company really making active matrix. Now LG Display is going to make it. Samsung is building a fifth generation uh, factory, what they call a fab. Uh, in addition to that is CMI it is uh, increasing their capacity. And actually each AUO, which went out of the OLED business a couple of years ago, is now back in. And they have available back planes from, uh, from the LTPS fab they bought from Toshiba, which is in Singapore. Sound critical and, and also LG today announced that they have some HD display that you, uh, needs less power than AMOLED displays. What, what is your opinion about well, that? Well, I think in, with, with today's advancement of active matrix OLEDs, uh, if the uh, if you have a, a panel with an application where the majority of the application is, uh, has a white background, for example, like if you ran Excel or some of the websites or Word, uh, an OLED is going to take uh, 20 to 30 percent more power uh, today than it, than uh, an LCD. Okay. If you had an uh, if you ran something like uh, a picture. If you took a picture and made an imaging, an OLED would be about 85. Would use 85 percent of the power. And if you had a um, a video, an OLED would use 15 percent of the power. So if you have, for example, uh, a black background and maybe a bunch of icons, then OLEDs will use about 50 percent of the power. So it really depends on what the user usage model is. Now the thing that's changing is that the material is improving 10 to 20 percent a year based on uh, uh, the sufficiency or efficacy. And we expect that over the next two years, even with white backgrounds, OLEDs will, be, will use less power. Okay, Barry, thanks. One last question uh, I have to ask you because the Apple fans want to know what do you expect when comes the first Apple product? Not in 2011. Apple. Not in 2011. What do you expect? Well, if anything, it would have to be after 2011, maybe 2012. Yes. It just, uh, it's not going to happen for 